So this is how to program a universal remote, in our case a backlit universal remote with buttons for channels against the Spectrum Zumo stream box. Again, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up or the bell to be notified when new ones come out. So here's the end result. We have this one for all universal remote. It's backlit. It's a second remote for the Zumo box. It has keyable channel numbers and it controls multiple devices and we've got it working with Zumo finally. So the key to figuring all this out was that Zumo remote has two modes of communicating, which I didn't know. Uh, the first is RF radio frequencies like Bluetooth, and that's what you see in some of the Amazon Fire TV remotes and Google TV. The second mode is infrared, which is you know like a car's headlight. You have to have it pointed at the box for it to receive it. It's direct line of sight only. The trick is you can't get the infrared to work until the radio frequency is off. So to get the conditions right for the remote to be learnable by a universal remote, it took a little bit of experimentation, I would say weeks of experimentation, but here's what you need to do. If you unplug the Zumo box, then it stops trying to transmit via RF and it switches over to IR on the remote. The remote is that smart. If the remote can't reach the box by RF, it then switches over to IR and then you can teach a new remote. So step one, if you're going to do this, you want to unplug the Zumo box from the wall and I'm just going to, for dramatic effect, unplug every plug out of the Zumo box because I'm so happy that I figured this out finally. And then once that's off, the remote itself is going to switch from radio frequency to IR and the way that you know it's done that is when you hit any button on the remote and it blinks green it'll immediately blink red after that means it can't find the box via radio step two is to buy and set up a universal remote so for me I have the one for all and I'll link to the review of it below basically I'm doing the key in for that to get it ready to learn. So now it's in learning mode. So I'm going to hit the one on the one for all and then the one on the Zumo box remote and it's going to learn it. I'm going to do the same thing for two and it's going to learn it. So effectively I'm going to do, I'm going to start over here so you can see, but I'm going one through zero, going through all the numbers and on the new remote I hit the number I want to have that function and on the old remote, the Zoomer remote, I hit the button for that function so that it transmits it to the new remote. And note they have to be pointed at each other a few inches apart on a level surface because again this is light based so the light has to be transmitted and received um, from the old remote to the new remote. And it's like kind of consider it like a headlight, it's like a beam of light, it has to go across to the other remote for it to be learned. 5 on the new remote, 5 on the old remote, 6 on the new remote, 6 on the old remote, 7 on the new remote, 7 on the old remote, eight on the new remote, eight on the old remote. So now we're down to nine, and then we'll just do zero. And zero. So now that we learned all the channel numbers, which was one of the key reasons I have the Spectrum Zumo box, I'm going to do the volume up, volume down. So there's volume up. I'm going to do the mute. And then I'm going to do the center enter button. And then I'm going to do the four stations around the outer circle. So the up button, down, left, left, and then right on the new remote which is on the other side of the old remote there, just because of the way that I'm filming it. So now we've pretty much paired uh, the majority of the buttons that we wanted to pair 
between the old and the new. Now we can enjoy the remote. So you have to plug the Zumo box back in, boot it up, and enjoy the remote. Ah, so now we have a remote that's not the Zumo remote that has buttons to do channel changes on the Spectrum app running on the Zumo box. It also happens to be a backlit remote because I bought that on purpose. This one ran about 60 bucks for the remote and I'll link to it below as to where I got it. You can get them much cheaper, may or may not be backlit, but you can get them at a drugstore, a big box store, or an electronics store, pretty much anywhere. Uh, they sell universal remotes in a lot of different places. You can change channel by number. It's backlit. It is wonderful and it's much much more easy to use because it's easier to hold it's more like a TiVo remote which is again why I bought the one for all model but you can buy any model you want and if we view DVR content it works the same way as it does on the uh, Zumo box So you can hit the center enter button in the circle to pause it. This would be for on demand or DVR. And you can hit the right arrow to fast forward and the center enter button to play again or pause it. But yeah, it works exactly like the Zumo remote. So the same ability to interact with the Spectrum app, the same buttons can be pressed after you train it but it's just being able to use a single remote that can control up to six devices rather than you know two devices or three devices as, as theoretically in the Zumo box remote uh, they say you can control your sound bar and whatnot I have not tried that um, but yeah <clears throat> it's nice because you can get the remote that you want and in my case the backlit was really a priority but again, the channel buttons, being able to push the channel numbers on a different remote and not having to deal with Zumo or Spectrum to do this um, was uh, basically the goal all along. It just took a lot of trial and error. So, so it's nice. You have the channel numbers. You have the backlit remote. You can control up to six devices on this specific universal remote. Uh, voice commands is still the lagger, uh, but that requires a radio frequency as far as I can understand which makes sense because it's a lot of information being transmitted um, from the remote to the TV so for sixty or less dollars to be able to get three out of four features like that is a big win in my book um, you can get the higher price Logitech remotes but those are going to run you in the hundreds if not thousands of dollars and that'll probably get you to the voice command ability to clone that onto a second remote. Again, thanks for watching and commenting. I enjoy the comments most of all. And again, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up to, uh, to like it. It'll help with the algorithm or hit the bell to be notified when new ones come out.